Hey guys, so as you know from my last video, we talked about how to shave and age a uh, reed. And so it can be a little more easier to play. Well, today I want to show you how to not only age it without shaving it, but we're also going to flavor it. So I hadn't heard of flavoring a reed until very recently, but when I did find out, it was like, wow, that is so awesome. What it means to flavor a reed is to make it taste better. They actually sell flavored reeds, like, uh, I think they're like fruit flavored. I've never seen one, I never really bought one, I just heard of it. And when I was like, I was like, wow, like, I want that. But I didn't, I didn't want that artificial taste while I was playing a clarinet. That's what somebody do it with, like, like lip gloss. I saw people, like, flavor the reed with other stuff. They just want to have a nice taste. So I found out how to do it naturally. Okay, so, um, in this film, I'm going to show you how to flavor your reed without it tasting so artificial. And what I have is a, you're going to need, actually, for this video, you're going to need a bowl. A nice one. It doesn't have to be this big, but this is good enough. And a little pitcher. I got this pitcher from the dollar store. And if you're wondering what's inside of it, it is rosemary. This is rosemary water. I hope you can see it. And you can drink it too. It tastes really good. Well, it's kind of got a, a bit of a bitter taste, but it is uh, good for you. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your box of reeds and you're going to unbox, which I've already done. I got them unboxed and they already, I, I write down used, all the ones that I actually have shaved and used. And so you're going to um, unbox all of those. And then you're going to uh, get some rosemary. Now, I grow rosemary in my yard. And so I went out just today and plucked myself, I cut myself some rosemary. I also have some basil, but I haven't tried basil yet. I just did rosemary because it has a more um, fragrant taste without it tasting like you're cooking anything. It has a more like really pleasant and really strong taste. So it infuses the water really fast. Cut the rosemary. I'm going to do it one-handed, so. It smells really pretty. So then I put the um, rosemary inside the water for about two hours, maybe three hours, or heck, it's better to let the whole day. And that water, this water is so freaking strong. It's it's good. Look at it. Look how pretty it is. That is so refreshing. And I realized that you can also use it for your reeds. So we're going to take this nice refreshing water. Make sure I have it turned open. Okay. And we're going to pour it into this basin. You can see it. Mm, that smells so good. This literally, literally smells like, like the outdoors. Like it just smells so good. You can like actually drink this, but it's not for drinking at the moment. So let's put the reeds inside. So you take these reeds, and you just want to place them. You know what? Let me. Um, I'm gonna un. I'm gonna unpack them. And then I'm going to show you what it looks like to put them inside the actual water. Okay, so here's the water. And some of my reads, if you wonder what this like red stuff is on, it's because I play with lipstick on. <laughs> so we're just going to drop into the water. You know what? I like to put them this way because it doesn't really matter, but... Uh, I like it this way because it kind of softens the front. I'm doing this with one hand, so. <laughs> and 
and make sure it's kind of submerged. You don't want to leave anything out. This will not hurt the, the reed at all. Water is actually good for reeds, as you know, because we all have to put it in our mouths first before we actually can play. So we're going to leave that on there. Leave them in there for about two minutes. And you can just, oh my gosh, I wish I could let y'all just smell it from the camera. It smells so good. Okay, so now the two minutes are up. This uh, soaking process should not only uh, flavor the reed, but it's going to actually make it softer. So it's kind of like a two-in-one. In the last video, I showed you how to shave a reed and get it and adjust it. This is a type of adjusting and a type of aging to make it uh, a little bit more bendy and it makes it a little more loose and it ages it so that you can actually play it more softly. But it also is for taste. And I love it because, it you know, sometimes the reed, if you're a clarinet player, especially when the reed starts getting old, it's not wonderful so this is a really a nice alternative and do you know that rosemary has really good health properties so when you play it kind of fragrances the entire clarinet because you're, you're blowing it so you're blowing from the reed all the way down into the clarinet so not only are you going to have a fresh tasting reed but you're also going to have a really fresh clarinet and you know how wonderful that is i mean like you're blowing it and especially if you're sitting with other people and the, the air that's coming out of your clarinet is not stale and weird. It's it's just fresh and good. That's that's nice. That's what this does. It's a little bit better than artificial because artificial, you know, it always has that kind of like thing happening. But this natural nature just somehow gets into the wood and really just changes it. So I think one of them is I think some of them's done. We'll try to get the first one out. It's been about, it's been enough time, I think. I'm just gonna get a different one. This one will do. So as you can see, this is it done. And it looks a lot more uh, pliable and you can't like bend it, but you kind of, actually you can kind of bend it by wings, I don't wanna break it. But um, yeah, and it just smells so good. Yeah, that is just giving it such a nice smell. very natural this has a very natural taste to it not artificial so i would definitely recommend it i would also recommend putting a little bit more uh rosemary i don't think i have quite enough i want it to be really strong so i would recommend doing a little more rosemary you can do this with lavender you can do this with what like a lemon balm is a really good one too you can do this with like anything any type of herb you see in the stores or in your uh garden i would not recommend cilantro <laughs> <laughs> though i love to taste cilantro but that's not really pretty <laughs> and um so basically you can do it but heck if you like it you can do it with that too but it's basically it's actually a really short video short than i thought it would be but i thought it's pretty cool that you can actually flavor your reed with something this natural and i think i'm gonna have myself a glass i have a little bit of um uh cranberry juice in this and i'm gonna pour it on top because it, it tastes that nice it makes everything just taste so fresh That really livens up the cranberry. So you see how fresh it is. The same word I'm soaking my clarinet reeds and I just drank. So it's it's good. But that's basically it. I'll talk to y'all guys later with hopefully more clarinet and art videos. I'm hoping to get my Ramsey painting done. But he is taking a long time. I guess <laughs> making somebody like that is going to take a long time. <laughs> I was trying to think of a torture pun but I couldn't think of it. But um, yeah, it's basically it. And like I said, all my videos, check out my books back at the links in my channel. And I'll talk to y'all guys hopefully later with more cool stuff. Okay, guys. Bye. <laughs>